Welcome. For decades, HIV has been one of the toughest challenges in all of science. But you know what? A recent breakthrough might just change everything. We're going to break down this incredible story of hope and scientific progress and what it could mean for all of us. This explainer is brought to you by the team at HIV RNA Test Guide. Okay, let's get right to it, because the news is big. Researchers over in Amsterdam have just announced a massive step forward in developing an HIV vaccine. Seriously, their results are so promising, it feels like we might finally be on a real path to ending this virus for good. But to really truly grasp why this news is so monumental, we've got to take a step back and look at the sheer scale of the global fight against HIV. The stakes? Well, they couldn't be higher. Right now, around the world, there are about 40 million people living with HIV. Just let that number sink in for a second. That's 40 million lives, 40 million families and communities, all impacted by this virus every single day. And make no mistake, this isn't a problem of the past. Just in the last year alone, there were an estimated 1.3 million new infections. It just goes to show you how urgently a preventive vaccine is still needed. So, the big question is, how does this new science actually work, right? How are researchers finally tackling a virus that has dodged a vaccine for over 40 years? Well, it all comes down to training our body's own defense system. The key players in this whole drama are antibodies. You can think of them as the elite security force of your body. When a virus like HIV shows up, your immune system is supposed to create these specific antibodies to hunt it down and neutralize it. The whole goal of a vaccine is to teach the body how to make the right ones before the real threat ever arrives. So the team at Amsterdam UMC set up this incredibly smart and careful study with 47 people. They split them into three groups. One group got a high dose of the experimental vaccine, another got a low dose, and the third group, they got a placebo, basically a neutral substance, so they'd have a solid baseline for comparison. This kind of structure is absolutely crucial for getting clear, reliable results. And the results were honestly just incredibly promising. The people who got the vaccine, both the high and the low dose groups, they successfully developed the exact antibodies researchers were hoping to see. This was it. This was the critical proof that the vaccine can teach the body to mount the right immune response. Now this gets to the very heart of why an HIV vaccine has been so ridiculously difficult to create. See, HIV is a master of disguise. It's constantly mutating, changing its outer coat, making it a moving target that's almost impossible for our immune system to lock onto. But this new approach is different. It's unbelievably precise. As the lead scientist, Professor Rajir Sanders puts it, they can now target our immune cells with atomic level accuracy. It's like giving our body a hyper-specific blueprint to build the perfect key that can unlock and neutralize HIV, no matter how it tries to hide. It's a total game changer. Of course, a breakthrough like this doesn't just happen in one lab in isolation. Nope. It's the result of a unified, worldwide mission. It takes a massive, collaborative effort from experts and organizations all over the globe. And the support behind this project is truly global. We're talking major funding, like 4.5 million euros from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and brain power from powerhouse institutions like Stanford and Weill Cornell. This is not a small-scale effort. It's a huge, unified push from some of the best and brightest in the world. And as fantastic as this success is, it's really just the beginning. The next phase of this research is where things get even more exciting because they're about to bring in some of the most advanced technology we have today. You can see the evolution right here on the screen. The current study proved they could successfully train the immune system. The next step, a bigger trial plan for next year, is gonna use mRNA technology. Yes, that's the same platform that gave us the COVID-19 vaccine so incredibly fast, and it could dramatically speed up progress here too. In the end, all of this complex science, all these trials and data points, it all comes back to a single, powerful human goal. As lead researcher Dr. Tom Canyell said, the dream is to one day have a vaccine that protects people for life. Every single step, every trial is moving us closer to that reality. Which of course leaves us with the ultimate question. After so many decades of challenges and setbacks, this new combination of precision immune training and cutting edge mRNA technology, it just feels different. It feels like real tangible hope. Could this finally, finally be the path that leads us to a world without HIV? While we watch this research progress with so much hope, 
Staying informed and being proactive about our own health is still so critical. For all the latest updates and for confidential testing information, you can always visit HIV RNA Test Guide. It's a trusted resource with over 4,500 testing labs all across the United States. Thanks for tuning in to this explainer.